The, the first thing is that irregular warfare is a term that's been around the department for a really long time, but I think it's been pretty significantly misunderstood by the entirety of the department. Uh, for a long time, when someone said the term irregular warfare, they think special operations, and that is absolutely not the case. The entirety of the Joint Force, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Army, uh, the Air Force, everybody has a very specific role to play, and it's a big one in irregular warfare. It's not just the domain of the special operations forces. The conventional force really has to see themselves in irregular warfare for us to be able to, to prepare ourselves, to gain advantage, and if necessary, fight and win. I think the, the biggest thing that was heartening for me is hearing that in the maritime space, uh, and this one was specifically around the Red Sea, dealing with Houthis and Iran, uh, the concepts around irregular warfare are inherently included in all of the discussions that are being had. Folks just didn't really realize that some of the things that we're talking about fall in the bucket of irregular warfare. So really getting the, the rest of the department to truly understand what we mean when we use that term and how can we apply it more intelligently and more appropriately as part of an overall campaign to achieve a strategic end. Uh, and I was really heartened to hear some of the discussions today because IW is an, an inherent core part of those discussions. So one of the greatest things that come out of uh, discussions like we are having today at this symposium is you get new options, right? People hearing things they hadn't heard before, people who understand some of the political risk that might limit options, they hear these new things, whether that comes in the form of a white paper or a briefing, and ultimately it provides more options to senior military commanders, but also the senior policymakers in the Pentagon. I think that's really important for us to be able to have the maximum amount of options, depending on the context and the environment, to be able to achieve what we're really trying to achieve for your US national security interests.